hello and welcome to my channel this is um pretty much my first quality video and it's of me building a budget pc pretty much for christmas but i did pay for the case and power supply so as like i show the camera the specs i will read them out to you so that you'd know what they are so enjoy for the case i decided to go with the sama 3509 flip door case i found it on a deal on newig it's usually 200 bucks but it was on deal for 65 and my other case was 60 so i just decided to pick it up For the motherboard, I went with the ASRock C690, and um, it's a pretty good choice, honestly. It's on deal for a hundred bucks. Usually, it's three hundred, but make sure you keep the CD, cause you're gonna need it for the drivers. Don't make the same mistake I did. Also, say hi to my dog. Comment W dog. His name is Oliver. For the CPU, I went with the Intel Core i5 12600KF. It you need a discrete graphics card, but I recommend a graphics card anyway. And it's a $300 CPU on deal for $150, so make sure you pick it up. And when you're putting the CPU, like, secure thing down, don't freak out when the like cover like shoots off it scared the heck out of me but it's supposed to do that so yeah for the ssd i went with a pretty good budget option um i went with the team group mp34 one terabyte version and it works really well actually so i'm using this pc to edit this video and i'm really happy with it so it's a really good option for the ram i went with the time tech pinnacle conduit uh ddr4 3600 megahertz i think i'm saying everything from memory so if i got it wrong don't get mad at me, I'll leave links in the comments. But they're also pretty good, so great for budget. So this case decided to hide the manual and screws so you just saw me find that after looking for it for 30 minutes if you decide to go with this case the screws are like under where the motherboard goes and the manual is under where the power supply goes so i'd like to take the time to thank zach's tech -ter for pretty much the whole build link will be in the description Go check him out, he's pretty awesome. We took this next bit to kind of just run the cables so that like once we got the big air cooling and stuff in like that and the GPU, it would be a lot easier. To I know, I know, this is the perfect camera angle, thank you. So here we work on putting the air 
air cooling in. I just have to say that I spent five hours cutting this video and it is taking me 10 minutes to do voiceover. So usually I won't ask for subscribers, but I spent six hours working on this, just like in total making the thumbnail, doing voiceovers, cutting it, watching it back to make sure that it's perfect. So please like and subscribe. So on to the GPU. I would not suggest copying me on this one. I definitely suggest an NVIDIA series. So spend an extra 50 bucks and get like a 3080 or something like that. Or even like a 3060 or 3070. Because I got the MSI Radeon. 700 XT Mac OC. It works pretty well, but especially if you're going like FPS, Nvidia is much better. And personally, I prefer Nvidia, so definitely don't copy me here on this one. to go mobile on this one she kept getting in the way so for the power supply um i went with the msi honestly i don't know i'm just gonna put it in the description because it was on a 30 dollar deal um like in best buy so i picked it up i wanted a fully modular power supply so i spent like an extra 30 bucks to get a nice fully modular one but if you don't care about how the cables look um i would just suggest like a corsair 650 watt like semi-modular one they work pretty well We're just running some more cables, getting everything hooked up, putting on the finishing touches. And this part sucks to edit because it is not fun to edit, like putting the power supply cables where they need to go. It is actually like not fun at all. Shut up real quickly. Okay, now all that's left is that we hope and pray that it works. Woo! And it boots. Let's go.